Today we're going to talk about finite and infinite leadership and what are the difference between those two. My name is Tineke Rense from Powerful Business Academy and I help self-employed businesswomen or already businesswomen become leaders in their industry and build a business or build a career. Now what is finite leadership? Finite leadership is when you are goal oriented and infinite leadership is when you are mission driven. Now watch the video about Simon Sinek um, and, and he's all about you have to have a why and the business has to have a why. Infinite leaders, they have a big why. They follow the business's why, the mission of the business. Finite leaders, they follow the guidelines, they follow the, the goals, the stats, the plans, the, yeah. So it's a, can you see the difference? And there's more differences. There's a huge world of difference between those two. And you see both kind of leaderships. And um, infinite leadership, it's not easy for the leader itself. Because he or she, and let's talk about she because we're women, have, sometimes makes no decision when it's expected. Sometimes goes into a direction that is unexpected. Sometimes has to let people go because they are not aligned with the mission. Well, probably those people would not be in the team had she been able to recruit them in the, in the beginning. Um, so, finite, goal-oriented, infinite, mission-oriented. Finite leaders have a closed mindset. Um, infinite leaders have an open mindset. So everything is possible. Uh, with a closed mindset is that this is the way to go, uh, these are the plans, this is how we do it, these are the spreadsheets, that is the time, he has to do it, she has to do it. Um, it's, it's all controlled. Open mindset means the leader is flexible. She doesn't know exactly how it's going to happen. She knows it is going to happen. And she trusts and she allows for the information to enter the team or enter her or enter her sphere. And then they can act upon it. An infinite leader is... Someone who inspires, someone who involves the team, where there is security, where there is safety, where there is space to make mistakes. A finite leader is more a manager. So it, it is someone who judges the team on criteria uh, instead of output, who looks at how people do the job, on what position they should be. So it is a, it's a lot different. An infinite leader can be. It's all about being someone. A finite leader is always an action. And there's a difference. Action is masculine, being is feminine. Now you need both, but before you want to go into action, it's important to be, to be some kind of person, to feel some kind of things, to vision some kind of things in your mind. That's all about the being. It's got nothing to do with doing, with being in action. And then you take action. But you take action which is aligned with the being. 
and finite like the leaders, they only take action. They skip the being step. So don't, don't get me wrong, infinite leaders are also in action. But there is a different process. Finite leaders are only in action. They follow the guidelines, they follow the goals, they follow the steps, they follow the protocol, they follow the process. It's a big difference. Because then the action is the same as it always is. Because the process and the guidelines are the same. Man, you, you can add some things, but it's still the same. When you take aligned action, it can be different action all the time. Because you don't know what the being is going to create. You don't know what the being is going to... Uh, well, the being is more like tapping into your intuition, you don't know what hunches you're going to get. So the actions can be different all the time. And there is no process yet or no protocol yet because it's new. It's playing. Can you see the difference? Now, it takes something from an infinite leader to maneuver the team around this. Because many people are used to safety, stability, predictability. Because they're not used to infinite leadership. So it is highly important that the infinite leader is extremely self-secure. Is extremely aware and sensitive about what's going on in the team. Because the, you don't want to leave people behind. You want to make sure that everybody is still involved and that it's co-creation, that everybody does what they're good at, what they love doing, so that they create the best output. And in the team of the finite leader, there are people who are highly capable of doing certain skills. They get insecure when it, when it goes off uh, the path. Um, they cannot handle that because the finite leader cannot handle that herself as well. It's a lot about control. It's not about allowing, creating, co-creating. The infinite leader can follow the flow. And you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a white rider kayaker. Uh, you, you probably uh, know this. I'm a national champion, uh, freestyle white water kayaking. I've paddled lots of big rivers in the world, um, uh, Colorado River, for example. A river goes like this. It does not go like this. Yeah, it does when it's in an industrialized area and countries have built walls to make sure that it's it's going in the way they want it to go. But in, in its origin, a river goes like this. But it will always go down to the ocean. Many things happen on the way, but that's where it's going. It knows. It does. It does. It just does. And it goes. It goes with the flow. So an infinite leader might come across as not knowing what she's doing, not knowing where she's going. But she does. She has the mission. She does not have an idea how, and that is why she is maneuvering. But it's the same. It's the flow. It's following the flow. The finite leader is often fighting against the current. She will get there too. Definitely, she will get there with a lot of control, a lot of course correction, uh, a lot of energy, sometimes unhappy people, but she will get there for sure. And the spreadsheets are okay. The reports towards her, her management are always okay. Uh, all the deadlines are met, she is in control, she knows exactly what's happening, at what moment, and that creates 
security within her. It creates stability in the team because there are finite people in the team as well. That's usually the case. But are you going to do extraordinary things? Are you going to make this huge impact in the world? Or are you just doing what you're supposed to do? Are you inspired? Are you aligned? Do you feel a sense of belonging? Usually not in a finite team. Finite leaders, they have a position. And the position comes with the power. And that is important for them. They can even hide behind it. Infinite leaders, they're just super self-confident. The position to them, it makes no difference. They would do exactly the same when it wasn't in the business. They would do it at their home. They would do it at their charity. They would do it. They would be like that anywhere. They don't need the position to feel power, to be secure, to have the authority. That's a big difference. So an infinite leader is a leader. A finite leader is a manager. So there is a big difference. I hope you can see that now. And even if you are on your own, you can be a finite self-employed businesswoman or an infinite self-employed businesswoman. What inspires you more? I know women love to have control, but that is because there's insecurity underneath all the big levels. Deep, 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 deep levels. So let's talk about this. I, I, as you can see, I create these videos every week. I do Facebook Lives every week. I write about my own personal leadership journeys every week on LinkedIn. Vul vulnerable posts. People like them. They comment. They like. Um... And I'm offering you a 15 minute call. It's free, no strings attached. Uh, I will promise that I dedicate my time to you. I'll serve you if there's anything you want, anything you need. And you know, we might take it further, maybe not. That's okay with me. Because I am an infinite leader. I know talking to people somehow will serve me and will serve them. I don't know yet how, but it will. And that's the beauty. I can trust that and I can be with that. Okay, bye-bye for now. <laughs>